Hey, how's it going everybody? This is your Crypto Sensei speaking and welcome back to another Satoshi Club video. Now, I know that you guys love the Satoshi Club. You love all the news, you love the Twitter, you love the Telegram, you love all the groups, you love the community, the AMAs and everything going on. But if you want to enter the cryptocurrency world a little bit more seriously, you must know about these news sources, these platforms to trade on and these Twitter hacks that I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Very interesting stuff coming up for all of you that are beginners, intermediate, or even advanced, there is a little bit for everybody in today's video. So if you do enjoy it, as always, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts for me. And let's just move straight into it with the first one of the day, which is Coindesk. Now, for those of you who haven't heard of Coindesk before, it is one of the largest news networks out there when it comes to cryptocurrency news. You can see a live wire of everything going on on top. You can see all of the news. For example, Michael Saylor avoiding taxes and all of this stuff. He is uh, the former MicroStrategy CEO. MicroStrategy is a crypto based company. And, you know, if you don't know about it, well, Google it because it is doing some interesting moves and could be even acting as a market mover in some uh senses because they do have quite a lot of crypto holdings but in general this is a good news source that you should probably uh you know have on your radar when you're looking at the general market now today i'm only talking about crypto news sources there's none of that bloomberg cnbc reuters all of this stuff is something that you should know as well but you know i may use it for another video for example a video about stock news related to cryptocurrency news sources out there if you want to see that well subscribe to the channel down below now the second one for the day is coin telegraph it is also a good source obviously live wire up on top you got a lot of different news different markets a magazine uh, stuff about people it's sort of like a copy of forbes or whatever you have a cryptopedia if you want to learn more about crypto itself and generally it is a pretty cool news source out there as well which you probably should have on your radar now, the last one when it comes to these traditional news sources is Bitcoin.com or news.bitcoin.com, where, you know, also just simple news on the screen, which you are able to take advantage of. And as you can see, everybody is talking about this Michael Saylor news because it is quite uh, important at this point, uh, even though it's not, you know, affiliated with MicroStrategy. They're claiming that it's just him personally avoiding taxes, which is, uh, you know, believable, I guess. But Let's not get too deep into the news. One other very nice news source that you should be taking a look at is the Satoshi Club Telegram trading group. Now, if you don't see it, if you didn't find it before, check it out in the links in the description below because all of the news that is coming out in the market, basically everything that is pretty interesting, cryptocurrency news, NFT news, market news in general, the Satoshi Club is your one-stop shop for everything. Now, one of these news sources that is not too traditional when it comes to the crypto world itself is the Forex Factory website. Now, this is a website where you're able to look at a lot of different news uh, with different types of economic impact and everything else going on when it comes to economies, news, central banks, and all of this different stuff. For example, today, even though you might be watching this video two, two years from now, there's still going to be non-farm employment change news coming out every Friday near the end of the month. So this is the place where you can take a look at it, take a look at the actual reports, history of the reports, and everything else going on when it comes to that, so that you can get some more detailed insight into the market. Trust me, by using this, you're ahead of 90% of the people in the market already. Now, next up, we have the Satoshi Club Twitter page. If you haven't followed it, check it out in the description down below. And my little Twitter hack that I wanted to show you is just use TweetDeck, right? TweetDeck is a place that allows you to have a lot of these different columns on your screen. If you have a second monitor, it's even better. You keep them there all day. You take a look at, you know, occasionally and you see five different news sources coming out at once rather than looking at different notifications on your phone so it's a lot easier to use it's a lot better to use for me personally very very useful and here's a few of the things that i like to keep track of because i do trade uh, next to cryptocurrencies in the forex market as well so it's important for me to look at economic news economic impact monetary policy and all of these other uh, more important things when it comes to the macroeconomic situation so that we can make good uh, conclusions when it comes to the micro situation which is you know on the chart when am i going to take a long when am i going to take a short how am i going to trade or how am i going to invest into the market in the future walter Bloomberg, really good news source first quark really good news source i mean you can see 13 minutes ago jp morgan cuts china q3 growth forecast by one percentage point to 9.5 percent this is something that you would not know if you were just scrolling through the internet it would take you ages to find this exact info now, do I personally need this info right now? Well, not really, but it's good to have because at some point I might need it. 
Live Squawk, also pretty good. Reuters, it's right there, quite traditional, quite commercial, quite mainstream, but it's a good piece of news to look at. And also Bloomberg, as we all know Bloomberg, you know, Bloomberg is just there, right? Now, the next thing, very important, is Bitcoin. Or, sorry, not Bitcoin, but the platform where you're actually able to look at Bitcoin's chart and at all the other charts out there, which is TradingView. So TradingView allows you to do your own technical analysis, draw your different lines, even, you know, customize your chart or whatever else going on. So if you just uh, right click and you want to go into the settings, you can customize your different candle colors or whatever. You can change everything. I prefer mine red and blue, but very high level of customizability and you are able to make your charts look nice if you're going to be day trading if you're going to be investing you have your time frames up here on top you have your weekly time frame for example that is important to be uh taking a look at sometimes not a lot of people take a look at the weekly time frame but uh you know this is a little chart of bitcoin right here you're able to have all of your uh, starred coins up in the on the side you can uh, label them as well if you're for example looking at a few opportunities with only v chain and chain link you're able to do so on trading view so Without TradingView, I don't know how I would have ever entered the cryptocurrency world. It is a lot better than the traditional Binance chart tool, Coinbase chart tool, all of this other stuff. So TradingView, very, very important. Now, speaking of Binance, the website itself is beautiful, right? You need an exchange if you're going to use cryptocurrencies. Now, I talked about wallets in my previous video, which is something you should take a look at as well. But not only as a wallet tool, just as a tool for actually trading, Binance is pretty good. So you have different markets. You're able to look at pretty much everything going on. You have different ways to trade. So you can convert from one place to another. You have spot trading. You have margin trading. You have P2P uh, to transfer money in and out of trading, strategy trading, swap farming, tokens, OTC, all of this stuff going on. When it comes to derivatives, futures, uh, USDM futures, CoinM futures, it's basically leveraged trading. So you're able to take longs and shorts on cryptocurrencies. And it is basically a broker or a cryptocurrency exchange, however you want to call it. Now, one pretty cool thing about Binance is because if you actually head on over into the um, wait, let me just give me one second. So if you head on over in here, you can go into the Binance Academy and you're able to learn a lot of different stuff when it comes to blockchain, crypto and everything else. Now, Coindesk itself has their own academy. So it's this crypto explainer plus thing. But, uh, you know, it's pretty good. You know, you have your beginner stuff, you have your intermediate stuff, you have your expert stuff as well. Very nice to read. Uh, and definitely, like, even for me, it's very useful to read an article a day just to get my info out there, get the inspiration for, you know, creating another video for you guys and, you know, all of this stuff. But Binance Academy, very, very good as well. And you're able to check out, you know, beginner stuff here, for example, or if you scroll down, you can check out more uh, difficult stuff. Keep an eye on Bitcoin and everything else when it comes to trading. And obviously, you can choose different topics as well. So Binance, pretty cool platform. It is my preferred exchange of choice. You have KuCoin as well. It's just another exchange out there. You have Coinbase. It's another exchange out there. And if you want to exchange NFTs, OpenSea is probably the way to go. Now, Binance has their own NFT marketplace. Coinbase, I believe, has their own NFT marketplace as well. Everyone is coming out with their own, but the largest one currently is OpenSea. It is an Ethereum-based marketplace. You can also find Polygon uh nfts there and a few more but uh in general it's good for nft news it's good for tracking uh these collections floor prices everything else but there is a lot of other nft marketplaces out there such as nft go if i remember correctly that allows you to track whale activity it allows you to set your favorites and a lot of this other stuff that is potentially even better than OpenSea. but OpenSea is important because it is the largest one at this point now one thing that i almost forgot is coin market cap so we're going to get into that right now it is your one-stop shop for tracking cryptocurrencies basically what you do is you know check the global market cap you can check the 24-hour volume bitcoin ethereum dominance uh, ethereum gas fees how it's actually going on top trending coins top recently added coins top community accounts as well and the whole market cap uh basically coin market cap list right there's another one called Coin Gecko, but I prefer Coin Market Cap, and I like my dark mode, as you guys know. So this is what is my platform of choice. Now that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new today. When it comes to Bitcoin's price action, for those of you that stick around, stuck around until the end, there is a few scenarios. We broke out of a nice correction pattern. The Federal Reserve news is on the short side as well because rate hikes are still going on so you know potentially there is a chance that bitcoin continues moving down 
but on the short run so if you look at the hourly time frame we have an important zone right here that if we break out of we can move up back into the 21 or 22k level so in the short term if you're actually if you care about this well there's two zones to take into consideration. There is this bottom right here, which is at the 19.5K mark. And there's this top right here or resistance at the 20.5K mark. So that's basically saying if we stick around above the 20K level, we're going to move a bit up. If we stick around below the 20K level, we're going to move a lot more down. You know what I mean? That makes sense. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. And lastly, I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own due diligence before investing into anything in the blockchain or crypto world. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.